Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Nikki Reacts TV. It's your girl Nikki, and you are tuned into another reaction video. So let's just hop right into it. So last week, I want to say around last week sometime, Courtney posted on his Facebook page that his lie detector test was the one that actually came back and showed that he was telling the truth. Now, this prompted his mom to go on a complete rant on Facebook, airing him out, talking shit about her son. You know, some things are better left just unsaid or left behind the scenes in your own household. And she wonders why there's so many reaction channels reacting to her life and the things that she says, especially when it pertains to her own children. So she went on this manic rant after that post was posted. And she's pretty much trying to justify between the two lie detector tests. But of course, those of us with common sense can clearly distinguish between the two so if you guys remember in courtney's initial lie detector test post he said that he was touched by some guy at the age of six so i'm not sure if they both elaborated on this situation i'm not sure if these are two separate situations but regardless of the fact something happened when he was six years old and like old girl stated in her live video she said that courtney said that her and some dude did something to him together so again i don't know if this is the same situation that she's talking about either way something clearly happened to this boy when he was six years old so i don't know if courtney further went on to talk about what happened you guys can correct me if i'm wrong and comment down below but what old girl is doing is manipulating the whole situation you can tell she is guilty of something in my opinion because she keeps repeating herself she keeps talking about the same thing she is clearly trying to prove a point when the points were proven with courtney's lie detector tests in my opinion and she has yet to make a comment on what happened to her son at six years old so on that live she also went on to say that at two years old he was around here touching on other people let me tell you something at two years old he was not doing that to be to have a sexual motive he was just doing exactly what he saw he was mimicking and he was mocking because that's what kids at that age do so I think she made that statement to try to say, well, this is who he's been all along. He's been a sexual demon all along. He's been one to poke these little boys in the mm -mm all along. No, that's not what it was. He was doing exactly what he's been seeing all along in his household. That's a reflection of your parenting. That's a reflection of his mama, not of him, in my opinion. And when she says that he had these erratic behaviors and he was the little boy that cried wolf, so she had to go and put him on medication. I don't think she had to put any of her kids on medication because something was wrong with them. In my opinion, I think she put them kids on medication because she wanted to collect a check every month, point blank period as you can clearly see courtney is very bright very smart very intelligent very articulate nothing is indicating any type of mental disorder any mental instability any unstableness and this is just in my opinion I don't, believe don't any of them kids needed to be on medication i think this was a case of munchausen syndrome where the parent fakes an illness for sympathy and to receive some type of assistance for their child because if you remember she herself stated that she faked like she was crazy as well when she was younger and manipulated a whole entire situation that she wanted or needed to get out of and she is doing she did the same thing to her own kids so that she can collect a government check every month those kids are not crazy there is absolutely nothing wrong with them and this is in my opinion only the only thing that is wrong with these kids is that they have a mentally disturbed mom all right so she is now saying that he's doing all of this for money all of this because he's broke and that he wants people to feel sorry for him listen he's 18 years old he's trying to make it all right he may not have the money that she has he getting these little coins from social media of course, he's trying to make it, but do I think that he's doing this 
for entertainment purposes? Not at all. Do I think that he is doing this because he's tired of her shit? Absolutely. Absolutely. And does he want people to feel sorry for him? No, he wants his mother to feel something for him. He don't have no mother, no father. So you, as his mother, should feel sorry for him, if anything. But Courtney, I feel sorry for you. I feel sorry that you have a sorry ass mother who raised you. And the reason that I say that is because she said that she does not care if he died. She said that she hates him. She hates everything about him. And that if he dies, she would not even go to his funeral. So yes, a sorry ass mama who raised him. And did you guys hear when she said every time she's over there enjoying her life, he's over there miserable, ready to end his? First of all, how you enjoying life without him? Second of all, if that ever happens to him, it's going to be your fault because you're killing your son every day. Be a mother. You're killing your son. And this is who some of y'all worship and look up to and idolize. You know what that makes you? A part of the deadbeat mama circle too. So talking about deadbeat mamas, did y'all see Pam removing those surgical drains in that unfilthy sanitary environment? Did anyone see her laying a clean chucks down on the bed? Maybe I missed it. Did anyone see her changing gloves in between touching the drains and exposing those open wounds? Maybe I missed it. Just a hot, filthy, disgusting mess. Why she didn't go to somebody's clinic? You know, so they can properly assess the wounds. So they can properly assess the fluids that are coming out of the wound. I mean, I'm sure Pam did the best that she could. Because let's be real, Pam was there for a check. Regardless of how she wanted to spin that narrative, she was there for a check. Since when has Pam ever cared about her well-being since a little child? And now all of a sudden she wants to care for her daughter? No, honey, it's all about the Benjamins, baby. I mean, it was very much given amoxicillin, penicillin, hell, any type of cillin, like, ew. And your kids did not have to be recording looking at that nasty shit either. Like, you could have spared them the gross details. Anything for a click and a view, right? I tell y'all in every video, we cannot make up the fuckery now did you guys see that skit that she did talking about smoking rocks with my mama girl what <laughs> do pam know about this because at this point i'm really starting to believe that her skits are mimicking her real life because it's very much giving trauma self-trauma life trauma at this point <laughs> <laughs> but on a brighter note, she did take the kids to the circus. Finally, they appeared to be happy, having a good time. So it was nice to see a change from all the fuckery and all the foolery that was going on. So you know we're going to end this video with a positive kudos for taking the kids out and letting them be kids and smiling and be happy. But just be consistent okay let's show more of that positivity and not all of that other dumb shit like that dumb ass kit that you just posted all right and with that being said you guys thank you for watching this video let's give it a big thumbs up comment down below and subscribe if you are new to the channel and until then take care and i will see you guys in the next video bye just a step in and i feel like i'm that nigga shit I drop 30 on this room, we ain't gon' sleep for shit If I catch you knockin' off, then it's gon' be some shit